what has sold? We're gonna start from the very top. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, well you guys are constantly asking me for what sold videos. I've never done a what sold video before. Today I'm gonna do a what sold video. I don't have anything on the table. I'm just going to impose images on the video. So this is gonna be really exciting. I feel this is gonna be an exciting video. You guys are gonna ask me for more of these. No sarcasm intended. Let's go, okay. Um, let's see here. What has sold? We're gonna start from the very top. All right, a while back, I did a video where I found a Chine de Blanc. That's not even how you say it. I don't know how you say it, but it's a Chinese white porcelain lamp, and it was incised. It had uh, it was it was a really nice lamp, and I had to rewire it because it had this glowy light in the middle, and then it had a light on top, and the glowy light in the middle. It was kind of like a night light, so it was a three-way lamp, and the light in the middle just was not working. So I bought it and I had to rewire the whole thing. I had that sell 53 weeks ago. We're starting like way back when, but I had it on video, we'll, we'll talk about it. I, I sold it for $170, it was a good lamp. I really liked that lamp. Um, moving right along, we had an, um, a Mission, Mission Arts and Crafts style hanging light. Had to rewire that one as well. I don't believe I paid very much for that, I'll put my, the prices I paid and what it sold for as well on on the screen. Um, I sold that one for $120. That was really nice. Now, when I when I first came back on the scene with the Crazy Lamp Lady videos, it was like I had taken a huge break from them. I'd gotten really into the metal detecting thing, but I decided to come back in full force. <laughs> and uh, it was one of my first videos back on. I bought a little pottery fish sold that. That was uh, for 20 bucks. And then I had people messaging me for like a week. Hey, did that sell? Can I still buy that? No, oh, sorry, it's gone. Um, so, uh, the creepy mask. That sold. The creepy mask I bought in one of my videos um, sold that for $65. Um, and actually, they sent it back. Pretty sure it's haunted and it's still at my house. Don't like that thing. Um, moving along. Now, uh, that's, no. We're gonna skip that one. That wasn't a video, so that doesn't count. We're only talking about video stuff. Okay. Um, eight piece set of uh, Dorothy Thorpe Silver Fade Roly Poly glasses. They were the 10 ounce with the carrier. They sold for $80. I don't believe I paid very much for those. <coughs> the, the creepy skull that I bought in one of my most recent videos. Uh, I sold that for 20 bucks. And um, <laughs> now one of my other recent videos, I bought this really awesome mid-century spun lucite uh, ceiling light. Now I paid, I want to say $35 for that. I sold that for $145 plus shipping. You guys are always freaking out about shipping. Like shipping costs so much. I don't understand why it matters to you that shipping costs so much when you're charging the customer for the shipping and they're choosing to pay the shipping. Unless you're doing free shipping, which I don't do. I charge the customer for shipping because if they want to pay the shipping, they want to pay the shipping. So that's not an issue for me. Um, but, moving along, uh, now I have, uh, Sue and I were out at the shop and we found this, this pair of mid-century lamps. And they looked like almost stacked glasses. Uh, the glasses matched the shades. And I believe I paid $45 for the pair. I believe I did. I will correct myself um, up above if I did not. Sold those for $150. 
that was nice. Um, the Art Deco vanity dresser tray. Remember I went to the shop and I had that lady that was freaking out that I was filming over in Hanover. She was like having a meltdown. And um, I bought that for, I wanna say 10 bucks. Um, they had a discount on the booth. I think I paid $10 for that. And I ended up selling that for 25. That was pretty good. Um, I don't remember if I got this on video, but maybe I did. It was a wooden box purse with mushrooms on it. It was delightful. And I think I paid like 35 or 40 bucks for it. But it was one of those things that I just had to have because I loved it so much and I wanted to like put it in the hands of someone who could really appreciate it instead of just having it sit in an antique shop. So I threw it up on Etsy. I sold that for 50. It wasn't a huge profit, but sometimes I'll just come across stuff that I feel drawn to and that I need to, con like I need to put it in the hands of someone who's like, I would love to have that and I would appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Humpty Dumpty, Creepy Humpty Dumpty. Ooh, he was, I love him. Okay, uh, he, he sold 20 bucks. Yeah. dream about him sometimes. Just joking, I don't. That would be weird. Um, okay. Uh, the New Orleans box purse that I bought in the ceiling, <laughs> or basically ceiling video. Uh, that video has been resurrected. It's doing really well. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, we were at the Salvation Army and I bought a box purse and it was a New Orleans scene. <laughs> it was, I think we paid a dollar for it. That sold to one of my lucky viewers, thank you so much, uh, for $28. That's another one of those things that like, I just, I'm just so glad that somebody can appreciate it now. Um, <laughs> the, the creamer and sugar set, the sugar puss and dribble puss that I got in one of my recent videos, those sold because who wouldn't want to have those I swore that if they didn't sell, they would become mine, but they sold uh, for $48. Um, another lamp that was in the stealing video, I do believe, was a giant, it almost looked like a lava glaze. It was a mid-century modern lamp. It was this massive ceramic lamp with this huge shade. Now <laughs> that sold for $95. I believe I paid 19 for that. And it was sold with a set of Danish mid-century candlesticks that I had purchased recently. Um, I sold those for 25. Um, you guys are constantly asking me how I ship these lamps. <laughs> and I'm sure the viewer who bought those was like, oh my gosh, like, is this how she ships her stuff? What I did was, I, it's a giant drum shade, right? So the lamp itself is like 36 inches tall, but you take the drum shade and you fit it over the lamp and you cushion all around the lamp and it fits in a 24 by 18 by 18 box from Walmart. And you just use a ton of pillows, like packing pillows. Sue gets like so many packing pillows and she's so nice to like give me packing pillows because she loves me so much. She loves me in packing pillows is basically what I'm saying. And um, yeah, it's just, they ship them. They're easy to ship. I'll, I'll do a shipping video at some point. <laughs> I'm doing a sold video now. That's what's important for all of you who complain that I don't ever talk about what my stuff sells for. Or if I even sell my stuff or I just say this is what it's worth and I don't sell it. Oh, gosh darn it. Okay. Toothpick dog. Oh, he was so cute. Toothpick dog. Sold him for 14 bucks. To another um, lovely viewer. Thank you. He has a good home now, I hope, with lots of toothpicks. <laughs> Um, the Empoli Apothecary Jar. That has sold. Sold that for 65 bucks. Beautiful piece of Italian glassware. Um, some, oh, I didn't get those on video, so those don't count. The Batman mug. Oh, everybody loves the Batman mug. The Batman mug sold for $28. The Pig Snout mug sold for $38. $38. Um, the bird in a cage paperweight. That was, these are like my most recent, um, my most recent sales. Let's see, it, you know what? It's past 11 o'clock at night and I'm a little bit delirious, I would say. Um, the paperweight sold for $18. And the little ashtray, the cobalt ashtray, 
that uh, we were at the, I want to say community thrift store. I had picked it up and I set it back down. And then I saw Andrew come up behind me and he picked it up too. And I thought, you know what? We both picked it up. It's meant to be. Stick it in the cart. Let's take it home with us. Obviously, somebody else loved it too because it sold for 20 bucks. It's, it, it was beautiful. I mean, <laughs> the reason I put it back is because I'm like, it's an ashtray. Like, who's going to, I don't know. I guess people still do smoke, but I just I was like, oh, it's an ashtray, you know. But the gla it, it was just a beautiful piece, so obviously somebody else appreciated it. Uh, okay, um, the ceramic shoe uh, sold for $16. The macrame owl sold for $20. We just talked about that um, just recently. Uh, the cased glass vase sold for $15. Now, um, moving right along, the Scotty Terrier lamp, uh, that sold for $40. The atomic lamp, I don't know if you guys remember that one. That one was a little bit, that one was a little while ago. That one was actually over on my crazy, well, I guess I'm posting this on my crazy lamp lady channel. I'm getting, I'm getting so confused now because I'm posting on two different channels. Um, the atomic lamp, Sue and I, got together and I actually bought it with this hideous shade but I paired it with a mid-century modern shade that I had and I sold that I paid $60 for it sold for $150 um a similar ones had sold for about 200 so that was a really good deal on that one beautiful lamp uh the wooden fish bowl remember it, it was like a monkey pod bowl that I got recently I had one of those sell for 18 bucks. Um, that was forever ago. I don't even think I got that on video. Oh, my Black Panther. My Panther sold. My Panther sold for 58 bucks. So he's gone. <laughs> but there will be more. I come across them all the time. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, I had, uh, I didn't get that on video. I didn't, I had a Black Panther lamp that sold. And what sucks is Andrew and I actually bought two of them at the flea market. We came across a pair of them and they wanted 10 bucks for the pair. Uh, so we bought both of them and I got them home and it was one of those things where I was taking pictures of them and I realized that they had actually glued one of them. It was like the best glue job I had ever seen in my entire life, but they had glued one of them back together. So I ended up selling one of them by itself. I did not get that on video, um, but only paid five bucks for it, sold it for 85. I was, it's a nice lamp, but I can only have so many lamps, so, well, that's what Andrew tells me. I think I could have more, but whatever. Um, the Princess House Planter sold for $24. Now, let's move on over to eBay. I don't use eBay very often, that's what I'm telling you guys. You guys are like, what's your eBay store? I don't have an eBay store, I keep telling you. I don't have an eBay store. I don't sell often on eBay. So, all right, um, let's see here. The Nestle Nescafe mugs sold on eBay. Uh, they sold for $22. Also, those little uh, Wonder Shop Target birds that everyone was like, oh, those aren't gonna sell, those are stupid. You know, those ones, they sold. <laughs> they sold for 28 bucks. I paid, I think, five bucks for two of them. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, the Art Deco glass lamp that I bought recently that sold for 85 bucks. Uh, the Thomas Webb Peach Blow Vase. I only got 58 bucks for that, which I was a little disappointed in. I thought I was gonna get more on that. That was one of the items that I was kind of disappointed in. I thought I was gonna get more for that, but I'm thinking we're, we have a pretty good track record because that's really the only one that I'm like, uh. Um, the miniature floral ceramic oil lamp sold on eBay, but the only reason it sold on eBay is because I went through the global shipping program because um, I don't know how to do that on Etsy because I'm, I'm, real, I'm relatively new to Etsy, believe it or not, um, so I don't know how to do global shipping in Etsy and I, I kind of like directed my buyer over. I'm like, well, I could send you an, I could list it on eBay and send you an eBay link. So that sold on eBay for 22 bucks. Um, another thing that sold was the little stopper, the um, stopper. I actually listed that to auction because I wasn't sure how much it was worth. 
I think I paid two dollars for it. It sold for 25. I feel like I could have got more for it if I listed it as a buy it now. I'm thinking I probably could have got 30 to 40 if I would have just been patient. Um, and, and you know, because that's how, how that's how much others were selling for. Um, and sometimes with antiques, I mean, it's a funny market. Unless you have something that's like really in high demand, listing it to auction is a bad idea. So <laughs> that's why I do a lot of my stuff buy it now. A lot of the times you guys will see me buy a lamp or a pair of lamps and they will sit and they will sit. That stealing video where I bought that ceramic mid-century lava glaze lamp, that was like this summer and it just sold like two weeks ago. I mean, I buy these lamps and they sit and they sit, but when they sell, I mean, they make good money. So I'm not, I mean, it's not an issue for me. I mean, I don't mind stuff sitting. So um, that's kind of, I guess, what a sold video is. I've never done a sold, I've never watched a sold video. I guess you just talk about like what you've sold. And ta-da, I did it, mm, be proud of me. Uh, but I know you guys have been wanting to know like what sells and what doesn't. And I don't know if you believe me. Oh, I, I know most of you believe me, but a lot of people were leaving comments on my videos like, it doesn't count if you don't tell us what it's sold for. And I'm like, well, really? Let me tell you what it's sold for. <laughs> so this was my attempt at a sold video. Um, the next one I promise will be better. Uh, but really that's all I've got for you. I mean, all this stuff has already been shipped out so I can't be like, this sold and this sold and this sold. So I figured I'd just put pictures up and maybe throw some music in there make it real special for you guys. So uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed my sold video and don't forget to go check out my shopping videos over on Relic Recovers because that's where I've been posting them recently. And I will catch you guys next time. Later.